Welcome to the far east of Russia. It's the largest of the eight federal districts of the country, but the least populated one. Only about 5% of Russia's population lives here. The Far East is a vast taiga, mixed oriental culture, and a special atmosphere of the edge of the world. Hi, I'm Ellie, and it's my first time in the Far East of Russia. I still can't believe how far from Moscow I am. I wonder if life here is very different from life in the central part of the country. Is it more Asian rather than Russian atmosphere and vibes here? Let's see how people live in the capital of the Far East, Vladivostok. Vladivostok is the capital of Primorsky Krai, and it's the second largest city in the Russian Far East with population about 600,000 people. The city is famous for its harbor location as the home port of the Russian Pacific Fleet and being the final stop on the Trans-Siberian Railway. The name of the city Vladivostok derives from Slavic words Vladyet and Vostok, which means Lord of the East. But Russians usually use the short form and simply say Vladik to refer to the city. Japan, 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 Japan. In this part of Russia you won't see Lada or Zhiguli, brands of the cars that you usually see in the central part of the country. By the way, Japan, 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 Japan. And to move around, I decided to rent one of these cars. It turned out that there is only one car sharing service in Vladik, and all their cars are electromobiles. Now let's see how the car is itself. It will be my first time to drive the electromobile. If you search Vladivostok on the internet, the first thing that you're gonna see is a huge bridge. Two bridges, actually. It's my duty to cross these bridges. Let's go there. Zalatoy Most, or the Golden Bridge, is a bridge across the Golden Horn Bay. In 1959, the Soviet president Nikita Khrushchev put forward a slogan to make Vladivostok better than San Francisco and ordered to build this bridge. But actually, the bridge was only opened in 2012. I've never been to San Francisco, so it's up to you to compare the bridges. And the second bridge is the Ruski Bridge, currently the longest cable state bridge in the world. It's 3,100 meters long and connects the mainland of Vladivostok with Ruski Island. Ruski Island used to be very militarized zone for most of the past 150 years, and during the Soviet era it was a closed territory. However, now it's home to the Far Eastern Federal University, a huge oceanarium, and it's a business and economic center for many international events. The island has lots of nature and locals come here for the beach and relax. But let's go back to the mainland of Vladik. I'm quite surprised that the architecture is so beautiful here as in the cities like Moscow or St. Petersburg. The city looks very European. But we are so far in the east. That's what surprises me. But even though the architecture is very European-like, and Russian-like, I would say, you will see lots and lots of signs and inscriptions in Chinese, Japanese, Korean. Talking about Korea, the North Korean border is only four hours drive from here. I've never tried the North Korean food, and now I see a cafe named Pyongyang. Maybe I can try it here. I definitely want to check it out. So that girl told me that 
I can't film in this cafe. I asked if I can film just the food and she said no. Like, why? Let's see what they have here. Kimchi, vegetable salad, some fried meat or soups. I will try to choose something specifically North Korean. This one, bibimbap, says rice, fern, soya, and sea cabbage. Starters, pretty spicy, nice. I'm gonna start with this salad. Korean noodles, sea mushrooms, some meat here, these greens. Anyway, I'm gonna film this North Korean food. So this is sea mushroom. Tastes like a mushroom. Mm. These noodles are warm. She also brought this flat bread with kimchi. In Russia, sometimes we make zucchini pancakes. So it tastes something like that, but very spicy. Very nice. There was a Soviet Union song. And the last dish, the one with fern. Rice with fern, spices, egg. <coughs> wow, very spicy. <laughs> wow. I think that I like the North Korean food overall. 1,460 rubles for everything. And I asked this girl where she was from. She said Korea. I asked the North Korea. And she answered, we only have one Korea. That was her answer. In Vladivostok, I'm going to stay at my mom's friend, who was kind enough to offer me a place to sleep at. Здравствуйте! Полным ходом готовка. Я в последний раз слепила манты в детстве. Ну, мне кажется, я вспомню. Генная память рук должна быть. Манты is like pies. Inside there is meat, potato, onion, and then you put it on steam to cook. А вам нравится жить во Владивостоке? Нравится. Здесь чем угодно можно заниматься. Здесь все есть. Владивосток раньше был закрытым городом, да? Пускали только тех, кто тут живет. Кому кому разрешается mm -hmm. Здесь был главный штаб военно-морского флота Капитанского. Mm -hmm. И сколько лет вы тут жили, когда он был закрытым? Ну, лет 15, наверное, приблизительно. Город... А получается, когда ну, открыли город? В конце 80-х или в начале 90-х. Mm -hmm. Ну, проще стало жить, конечно, потому что могли уже с Сурейска приехать, откуда-то еще приехать, спокойно уехать. Здесь хорошо живется? Мне, если бы хватало пенсии на все, я бы уже не работал. Пенсии не хватает, конечно, пенсии маленькие у нас. А сейчас вы где работаете, получается? В Ревостовский гидрометеорологический институт. Океанологом, да? Океанологом, да. Однажды мы попали в тайфун натуральный, но все, мы знали, что подходит. Угу. Но мы отошли в сторонку, чтобы он прошел мимо нас. Он в сторонку прошел. Вот. Мы на его место идем к нему в то, чтобы там посмотреть, что там происходит. Он разворачивается. И еще раз по этому же самому месту. Мы были практически в центре тайфуна. Там совершенно нет волнения, там ну, такая небольшая волнение, без нее, да, вот, совершенно. То есть внутри, да, там, там Чего, внутри очень хорошо. Мы да. были внутри тайфуна. Давайте. Но зато вход и выход из него. Ну, это очень сильный шторм. Очень сильный. Просто Talking about the ocean, we are in a port city located on the Sea of Japan. So a must thing to try here is the local seafood. Это лаборатория шефа. То есть это вот здесь создаются. Здесь создаются блюда. Вот вот эта вот штука иглокожий моллюск. Фишень по китайски. Looks weird. I was told to eat without any sauce or anything, 
so that I can feel the real taste of this clam. Mm? I think it reminds me of the red caviar. Very, very nice. So tasty. Это устрицы тоже местные. Actually, the first time in my life to try oyster. I don't know why, but for me it tastes like cucumbers. For me, I wouldn't say that it's tasty. Переморский гребешок. Здесь 10 тысяч глаз у одного гребешка находится на вот этой мантии. И теперь живите с этой информацией. Да. Definitely raw. Raw something. Mm. I don't know. It's just weird. They put raw quail egg and told me to mix it together. I like sea urchins because they are salty and taste a bit like caviar. But why eat it with a raw egg? I almost don't feel the sea urchin. But I have several more which I'm gonna eat without the egg. The main dish is Kamchatka crab, of course. They are named Kamchatka crab, but they can be caught in Vladivostok as well. I don't know how to do it. I wonder if it's gonna taste like crab sticks. Do you know crab sticks? It's very popular in Russia, but they say that there are no crabs in crab sticks. Mmm, tastes different from crab sticks. Because the Japanese sea is right here and we're in a port city, we're in the Far East. Still here it's not gonna be cheap but it's gonna be so fresh and not like too expensive as maybe in Moscow or other cities. I'm just delighted. <laughs> Well, what can I say? The only thing that I'm gonna do is advise you to visit this place when you're in Vladivostok. It's a must visit to try the Far East food. I have a tradition on my channel to hide matryoshka dolls in places that I go to. Inside the doll there is a note from me and 100 Russian rubles. In Vladivostok you will find my souvenir at the restaurant Zuma. Just tell anyone from the staff at the restaurant the name of my channel and they will give it to you. I hope you will visit this restaurant one day and enjoy amazing Far East seafood. I want to explore also a bit outside of the city, so I'm gonna take a taxi. I'm not gonna risk and take that electro car far from the city. scary here, you know? Oh my gosh! Kasuli! Hi! I like that in this park the animals are not in a cage. They are like in the nature and you are walking on this trail like in a cage, not vice versa. doing <gasps> wow and here is the tiger so beautiful so beautiful in this park you can see the famous Amur tiger it's a rare species that lives in the Russian Far East and Northeast China in 1940 this tiger almost became extinct when only 30 to 40 individuals was left but by 2022 count, there are about 600 Amur tigers on the territory of Russia. However, it is still listed in the Red Book of the Endangered Species. In 2015, there was a curious case in this park. There was a tiger named Amur, and they put a goat in his cage for his lunch, but this tiger 
was full and he didn't eat this goat. The next day when the tiger wanted to eat this goat, the goat was very brave, put his uh, antlers and for a long time this tiger didn't eat the goat and people named the goat Timur, which means brave. For many years this tiger and this goat lived together. He was very brave. He was always irritating this tiger. Unfortunately this tiger beat the goat, but this goat was so famous that he was even taken to Moscow, to the hospital. Uh, he pooped on the Red Square, very important fact. But uh, eventually they couldn't heal him and he died. That's the story of the friendship of the tiger Amur and brave goat Timur. Speak English. Чем привлекает аркеологи? Это морские прогулки, экспедиции. Я на полмир, может, посмотрел. На государственный счет, пожалуйста, садишься на пароход и тебя плыв. Сингапур, а тебя попуасом, а тебя куда-нибудь в Индию, а тебя еще куда-нибудь, правда? Любая работа интересная, без исключения. Если ты там... за заинтересован, если у тебя что-то получается, если ты да. там что-то везде. Главное, чтобы там. тебе было интересно. Вот. Indeed. We should never spend time thinking that someone's job or someone's life is more interesting than ours. Sometimes we compare ourselves and think that somewhere or someone is having a better life and we fear so much to have less. But let's stop for a moment and appreciate our life, our job and our own journey and put all the efforts and passion into what we do and have. Otherwise, we will spend our whole life in fear of missing out and one day realize that we missed out our own life. Thank you for watching the video and stay tuned if you are curious and interested about the Far East and of the beaten path places of Russia.